Good day, lovely people of the Christ Apostolic University College Committee, my dear colleagues, students, our dedicated faculty members, our dear and alumni, and our most revered ministers and members of the Christ Apostolic International Church. Thank you for your audience today, and I'm the person of Clotty Michael, and I serve as the president of the Christ Apostolic University College. I am here today to shed light on some pressing issues that are significantly facing and impacting the quality of education and the overall student experience at our university college. The quality of education and overall student's experience are being significantly compromised due to several unresolved challenges. Despite numerous attempts to address these challenges and concerns through proper channels, we find ourselves compelled to escalate our concerns beyond our community. These challenges include, but not limited to the following, consistent interruption of our lectures due to salary delays, delays in the release of examination results of our students, insufficient educational facilities, graduation delays causing uncertainties and hindering future plans of our students after graduating, inconsistencies in academic calendar, disrupting our academic schedules, consistent increase in fees without corresponding services being rendered. As student leaders, we have taken proactive steps to address these issues. We have written letters to the university management, the council, and to our church, which owns the university college, expressing our concerns and seeking resolution. However, despite our efforts, we are yet to receive a favorable response. We have been given until the 14th and 15th of this month, March, by a key stakeholder to anticipate a resolution. Yet, if by then our concerns remain unaddressed, we will have no choice but to resort in a series of actions not limited to boycotting of our lectures, having a peaceful demonstration, and having several press releases to express our concerns. We understand the disruptions and challenges that may come with these. However, the fate of our education journey and our future careers as students are at stake. We cannot afford to remain silent in the face of all these. We do not take the decision lightly, as we stand here today not as adversaries, but as advocates for a positive change within our community. We employ the relevant authorities to heed our call and address these issues with the agency and seriousness they deserve. Responding to our petition sent to them, as well. The fate of our students hangs in the balance and is incumbent upon all to ensure that our educational journey remains uninterrupted and becomes fruitful. We employ them to help find a swift and long-lasting solution which is also effective to resolve the challenges we are facing. Though we face these challenges, I must say our university is undoubtedly one of the best private universities in the country, as we have quality staff, to mention a few, Mr. Setosei, Mr. Simon Peter, Dr. Farouk Reverend, Dr. Stephen Che, Mr. Sare, Mr. Joshua Kumi, Mr. Daniel Braham, and not to leave out the admissions and academic staff who have dedicated and demonstrated a high sense of commitment and loyalty to the university, and as a result, the University College has been able to produce many prominent people or personalities, including our own immediate past chairman of our beloved church, that's Apostle George Eboa, and we've been able to produce several ministers of the gospel and also an unnumbered alumni who find themselves in recognized institutions of this country and beyond. To my colleague executives and co-leaders, I leave you the recorded words of His Excellency Franco Uso, I quote, Smooth seas never made skill sealers. Also, in this time, may it be said of us that in our time we bravely confronted the darkness that hindered our advancement, leaving lasting marks in the hearts of those who trusted in us, as quoted by the next president, His Excellency Chamuel Pon Daniel. To my most respected dear students, do not be dismayed and don't let your heart be troubled as I want to reassure you that we are all in this together. Our stated programs and activities still holds, as this semester will be undoubtedly one of the best. Together as a united body like the clenched fist, we have the power to bring about the positive change we want to see. 
we are here in this particular season in this particular time for a purpose and we can make the change that we want to see in this time or this season as quoted by my presiding elder elder Godfrey Nati to the over thousand alumni body this is the time we have to unite and come together for the progress of our university and to support this course we are embarking on and also our decade project that's the bias project let us remain hopeful that our voices will be heard and that the necessary actions will be taken to improve our university experience as students my warmest appreciation to all the past SRC presidents and executives as well as the students alumni and all who have been able to guide our thoughts and actions to this point in time dear members and ministers of the Christ Apostolic Church International. Our university is our pride, our future, our legacy. Would it be possible for us all to come together to make it a better place for our children, our members, and the students who come to the school to further their education? As I conclude, I will finally like to leave us with the words of the prophetic director of our church, Apostle Samuel Mensah. I quote, There's honey in the carcass, in that in the midst of all these difficulties that we face, greatness can be built out only if we can look at that side or that positive side as well. Thank you very much, and we will continue to update you of any developments that may come. Have a lovely day.